Glitching AI Shopify Dropshipping Tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about glitching AI and how you can use this to dropship on your Shopify and other e-commerce stores, okay? So to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to glitching.ai. Now, glitching AI itself is an incredible AI featured dropshipping store. And what this AI featured dropshipping store brings you is proper dropshipping through AI's very own private features, okay? So generally, it's on a plan of $9.99 and $39.99, but it also has a free trial. So once you sign up, you're going to come over to this section, okay? This is how it's going to look. Now, to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect it to our Shopify store. So to connect it, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to integrations and you're going to go over to Shopify store. Now, over here, it's going to ask you your store URL and app token. And let me tell you where you're going to get that. So we're going to come over to our Shopify store over here. And over here, you're going to click on settings. And from settings, you're going to go over to the domain section. And over here, you can see we have our URL right in front of us, right? So what you can do is you're going to copy this URL. And once you copy this URL, you're going to come here and paste it into store URL. Then you have app token. Now, let me tell you how you're going to get app token. So to get the app token, what you are going to do is you're going to go to your app section over here. You're going to click on apps and sales channel settings. From here, you're going to go to develop apps. And here it says start developing apps on your store. You're going to click on allow custom app development. You're going to click on it again. And once you do that, what you're going to do over here is you're going to click on create an app. Now, if you click on create an app, it's going to give you proper APIs. Okay. So let's say I'm going to call this glitch. Okay. And the app developer is obviously me as the store admin. I'm going to click on create app. And once you click on create an app, what it's going to do is it's going to bring you to this section. Now, over here to actually get the app token that glitching AI requires, what you're going to want to do is the following steps. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to configure admin API access. And once you're over here, here, you're going to do the following. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and write product. OK, so in products, we're going to select these two and then you're going to choose theme. OK, and in theme, we're going to select these two. Once we do this, we're going to click on save. And once you click on save, we have four selected saved, you know, main APIs over here. So once you have selected these, you're going to go over to install app and you're going to click on install. Now, once you click on install, it says install glitch on my store and we are going to, going to go ahead and click on install once again. And once you click on install, once again, as you can see, starts giving you the API keys. So what we're going to want to do over here is, as you can see, we have different API keys, API secret keys, etc. So this is the app token, which is the secret access token. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this token and you're going to paste it over there. Now I'm going to reveal it for myself and paste it. Now here, as you can see, I pasted my app token store URL and we can see that my store is now connected to glitching AI. So once you've successfully connected your store to glitching AI, you can start importing your products and doing the rest of the work. OK, so to start things off, what we are going to do is, first of all, we're going to go over to glitch mode. Now, in glitch mode, what happens is it glitches in different types of tips for us. So it's going to glitch in a product. It's going to glitch in how you are going to upload that product onto your product page so people can actually see. It's going to give you marketing tips and a whole lot more. So here we can see we have a USB LED car atmosphere light, starlight, interior seven colors. If you click on view details, you can see the sales price, which is $16. Cost is around $2 and the profit you make is pretty incredible, around $14. Okay, so the wow factor is pretty good, but it's pretty badly saturated. It's a great market fit and the profit margin is okay. You can also check it out on different suppliers, okay, like Amazon, AliExpress, AutoDS. But now let's move to the actual good part. As you can see, it gives us proper looks on how it's going to look for your product page with the brand colors, font, and the theme that it recommends it to. So I'm going to go ahead and import it, okay? Now, once you click on import, you're going to click on select your theme. It says refresh will work best. So I'm going to click on import. 
Now, your store's theme does not match the selected theme. So obviously, if you want to import this to your you know, main recurring theme, you're going to make sure that that is the theme of your store. Now, as you can see, my theme is the Dawn theme. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose this and I'm going to go ahead and import the products straight over to the Dawn theme that I have. Now, once we click on that, I'm going to click on import. And once you click on import, what this does is it starts going ahead and importing your product page onto your main Shopify store. And you're simply going to wait for it to load in. Shouldn't take a lot of time. And once it's loaded in, what you can do is you're going to come over to your Shopify, as you can see over here. And now that we're in our Shopify, we're going to exit out and go to our actual product page. We're going to see how our product page actually looks. I'm going to go over to my online store. I'm going to view it out. And once you go to viewing your online store, it's going to show you the proper look that this application gives your product page. OK, you have everything from good pictures to actual good description, to good coloring, to good sectioning. Everything is flawless when it comes to this. OK, so you can see this over here. Now, this is a product that I added through glitching AI. OK, and if we come over to this product and we click on it, you are going to be taken to the main pro product page and in the product page. Look at this. You know, it gives you reviews. It gives you the price. And as we scroll down, we can see the size of the product. We can see the main description, how it's made it look and a whole lot more. Now, this is incredible you know you get a proper well-made product page without doing anything by yourself you're simply gonna have to import this and you're good to go okay so once this is done for you you can actually go ahead and get into the other things like ads and creative marketing plan execution plan and a whole lot more so these are also things that you can correlate with your shopify using the glitch mode but, you know, enough about glitch mode. Let's actually get into the other features that glitching AI brings you and you can actually integrate with your Shopify. OK, so I'm going to go over to the AI product finder. All right. Now, the AI product finder is, as it says in the name, it finds good products for you to save on your store. So I'm going to go over to find products. Now, as you can see, it takes us into finding products and it finds the best products on the market right now, according to the SEO. And look at this. We have all these products over here, right? So let's say I want to go with the smart coffee mug. All right. Now, once you go to the smart coffee mug, you can see the sale price is decent. Cost is less and the profit is also pretty good. So good. Wow factor. Great saturation. Great product market fit. The product margin or the profit margin is OK. You can also get the ad creatives. You can get the target audiences and all. So let's say again, I want to import this to my Shopify. So to import it, you're going to click on create product page. And what this does is it creates a whole product page for the smart, uh, you know, basic coffee mug. And obviously it goes ahead and its whole idea is to create a coffee mug or a product page that attracts the users. So as you can see, this is a product page mockup that it created. And if you think it looks good, you can import it or you can also regenerate it. But I think it's pretty decent. So I'm simply going to go ahead and import it. Go to Don theme, click on import. And as you can see, it starts importing this product page onto our Shopify. Now, how incredible is this that you can import any product onto your store by just a click? So if I come here to my Shopify store, I'm going to go and view my online store again. And once you click on view, we're going to see that with the first product that I added, we have a second product. And now that we click on it, it's going to open things up. Now, do know this, that the pricing is going to be set according to your currency and it might be a bit off. So you might have to fix this through your stores or currency. But as you can see, this is what the product page looks like and it looks absolutely flawless and incredible. So this is basically the main idea of how we are going to go ahead and use Shopify with glitching AI and use great AI features for our drop shipping and getting high ranks on our Shopify store. So that's the main idea of glitching AI and Shopify and how you're going to make it work together. Now, if you have any question about this video, do let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know that as well. 
Till then, please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.